Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To Use. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Venmo. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our data self images under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you start using Venmo? Well, we first need to discuss what is Venmo here. So Venmo is an app for you to start paying your friends or even requesting money from your friends. Now, you could also use this as a means of paying for things online. But in this case, how do you use it? So first things first is you need to have a Venmo account and you have to install the Venmo mobile app in your mobile device. Now, in this case, once you have your account and you have the Venmo app installed, go ahead and open it up. And from here, the first thing we need to do is we need to add a payment method. Now, for you to add the payment method, so from your home screen, click on the me at the bottom right of your screen, which in this case, you should also show you your profile photo. Now in here, what we need to do is we need to click a gear icon at the top right of your screen. Now, once you click on it, what we need to do next is we need to choose the option that says payment methods. Now in here, what we need to do is we now need to add a payment method. So you could also view your payment methods in this section here. So in this case, if you want to add a new one, click on the add a bank or card option there. Now from here, you could choose one of the following. So you could add a bank a card or an MX, AMX send account. In this case, if you choose bank here, you just need to use plate. So they actually use plate for you to connect your account. So just click on next here and fill out all the necessary details for you to connect your bank account. So this might take a few days for you to actually connect your account. Now in this case, you can also click on the verify bank manually instead. So you need to enter some of the uh, details that you need for that. But some apps or some banks actually allows you to use your application for that bank to connect your account. Now, if you choose the card option, you'll have to enter your card number, the expiration of that card, the security of that card, as well as the zip code that is associated for that card. In this case, you could also add as a backup payment method if you want to, if you want to, to make this a default one. But in this case, once you provide all the details, you can go and click on add and you should be able to start using that card for payments or uh, other stuff here. Now, also, if you want to take a photo, so you could actually take a photo of your card to easily get your details. Now, the other option is going to be the AMX option. Now, through AMX, you have the option to basically remove, or uh, sorry, uh, meaning you could basically connect your AMX account through Venmo. So you have to open up the AMX uh, card or AMX app for you to start connecting your account. So in this case, just click on agree and connect and follow the on-screen steps to connect your account. Now, in this case, how do you cash in? Now, cashing in is pretty easy. You just need to go to your profile at the bottom right of your screen. And from here, you should be able to see the section for Venmo balance. Now, go ahead and click on Venmo balance. And from here, click on manage. Now, you have three options on adding uh, money or basically managing your Venmo balance here. So you have the transfer to bank. So if you want to move out your Venmo balance, so meaning, like for example, if you have like $100 or $1,000 on your Venmo balance and you want to transfer this to a bank, you could choose the transfer to bank option. Now, if you want to add money into your account, choose add to money, or if you want to cash a check. So you could actually cash a check directly to a Venmo balance, which is something, a really, really cool feature that Venmo offers. But in this case, let's go and choose the add money option. Now, the next page, you have two options. You have instant and standard. So you might be wondering what is the difference between these two options. So instants actually allow you to actually add money instantly in your account, but they only support small amounts here. But if you like trans, if you're transferring like a lot, a lot of amount here, like uh, at least a thousand dollars here, if I'm not mistaken, you can actually use the standard one here. But in this case, since they actually allow a lot of, or they uh, allow you to. Uh, uh, transfer larger amounts here. This might take a few days or three to five days. Minimum is going to be three days. Now, in this case, we'll be choosing instant. Now, from here, we just need to specify the amount that we want to uh, cash in. Now, in this case, you can also choose $10, $25, $50, or $100 here, or just specify the amount that you want to. In this case, once you've entered the amount, what you need to do is you just need to click on the option that says add uh, now. Now, in this case, add the specific amount you want now. So at the very bottom here. Now, by the way, you have the option to also change your uh, a payment method or the card or bank account they want to use for cashing in. So if you click on the card or account that you see there at the bottom, you should be able to choose your card or the bank that you want to use for cashing in. Now, if you want to add a different card here, go and choose the add a bank option. 
Now, in this case, you might be wondering, how do you actually request or pay someone on Venmo? Well, in this case, what you need to do is you need to go to the main home screen here, click on the pay slash request button at the very bottom center of your screen. Now from here, what we need to do next is we just need to search for the name, email or username or phone of the contact that we want to request or we want to pay. In this case, go ahead and enter their name or username or email. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to specify a few things and just a few things here. Now as you can see at the very top, you have the plus button next to the actual uh, profile photo of that user. Now, if you click on the plus button there, you have the option to basically add another person that you want to either pay or request money from. Like for example, if uh, if you went to dinner uh, outside and you want to request from multiple people, you can actually start adding people here and whatever amount that you input here will be divided among them whenever you request payment from them. Now, in this case, you could go and add them. And from here, you could also specify uh, how what this payment is for. So maybe for personal use or for uh, uh, for buying goods, you could go and specify that. And from here, what we need to do is we need to specify how much you want to either request or pay. Now, as you can see, we also have the gift card or the card up or sorry, the gift, the gift icon that you see next to pay there. So you also have the option to wrap your request here or your payment here. So to make it more uh, fun or kind of kitty. So if you want to use that, you can go into it. Go ahead. So in this case, go ahead and enter the amount that we want to request or pay and either click on request and pay. So for example, you could go ahead and choose pay here, enter the amount. And from here, it should redirect you to the next page, which in this case, you'll see the overview on uh, your on uh, your uh, payment here, which in this case, the amount who you're sending to and the account that you want to uh, use for the payment. So in this case, by default, it's going to be using your Venmo balance. But in this case, if you click on Venmo here, you have the option to actually choose which account so you can actually use your card and or your bank account. So just to give an idea, sometimes cards actually has a three point a three percent um, fee whenever you're making transactions. So make sure to keep that in mind. But yeah, so in this case, you also have the private option here at the right side. So in this case, whenever you click on it, you have three options. You have public, friends, and private. So it, by default, it's going to be private. So in this case, if you want to uh, make it visible to anyone that you actually pay this user uh, this specific amount, or if you want to specify to friends only or private. So again, you can change the visibility of this transaction to whatever you want here. Now, in this case, once you're actually uh, done or proven your appropriate one, you can go ahead and just click on pay here. And also you have the turn on per purchase. So if you're buying from someone, make sure to turn this on because they, uh, they're actually uh, adding a fee because they actually cut a specific kind of fee on uh, transactions or in goods. So make sure to turn this on, especially if you're buying from someone. So if this is a uh, purchase. Also, once you click on pay, you should be able to go, uh, be pay that user and it will be recorded in your account. Now, if you choose requests on the previous windows, this is what's going to look like. Again, it's going to show you the reason, the amount that you want to have. And same, you'll have the option to change the privacy of that specific transaction to a different one if you want to. But uh, yeah, so in this case, that's those, those are the basics on how to use Venmo and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.